Señor King. I don't How's speak it? that language. <laughs> Spanish. Spanish. How's no. it going? It is wonderful. We're well, gonna right. clean. You're gonna clean the um, Nuova Seminelli MDX. MDX. This is a commercial grinder. Yes. Okay. Um, they get very dirty because you're running a lot of volume through mm -hmm. them. So we're gonna go into two things actually. I'm gonna go into the cleaning inside of these burrs. Okay. I'm also gonna show you this chamber. One of the nice things about this is the most accessible chamber that um, you can actually get inside here and clean this. Um, you can see this one's pretty new, so it doesn't have that nice gunky build up. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of them aren't very see-through and that's not how it came. Yeah, these are clear plastic. They start clear pl they, plastic, they, not they brown. They a clearish. <laughs> um, so the first thing, of course, over here, which I already have it pushed in, but you okay. can see the little lever to push it in. Yeah. Otherwise, you end up taking it off and you end up spilling beans everywhere, which I have done. Okay, <laughs> but often you'll be doing this kind of maintenance at the end of the day. You right? are, but you're, you know, very rarely are you ever completely like okay. able to run it out. These grinders, typically you want to keep it above that little um, the little Funnel area. right there okay. anyways. So you're always going to have a little. Hopefully okay. you're not doing it a lot, but they put that in there because it really doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you know, from there, I'm going to try to get it to stay. Nice little <laughs> stiff wind will blow it over. Um, you know, from there we're left with the problem that you always have, of course, is those beans. There's really no way to get around those ones. We're just going to have to suck those out of there. Okay. Um, in a cafe, of course, you could just dump it over, pour it out. Um, if you have a shop vac, we can do that as well. And um, your hopper, this is a great time to... Just wash that with soap this and water. Is a great time to wash that with soap and water. Also, keep in mind if you do this and you have some that's in here, yeah, it does not mean we can't just go to a bag, okay, open it up and save it. So, you know, again, I know people always want to keep it lower, but we you don't have to. You can okay. start it here, dump it into a bag, it's not going to hurt anything. I got some falling out right now, nice, and then we can take <laughs> it, dump it into the sink, actually rinse all that out because the same buildup will happen here, too. Cool, all right. Um, so from there, I'll just get it now. Beans out. Beans out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take this towards me a little bit more. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out of here. And one of the nice parts about this, and actually, I'm going to unplug it. <laughs> Safety first, Safety folks. Safety first. Um, one of the nice things about this one here is you can actually take the top off without affecting your grind. Okay. So most grinders, when you go in to clean it, we mm -hmm. are we're scared to make a grind adjustment because mm -hmm. we have to reset that grind. Okay. This one here, we actually, this little bugger turns and it actually turns the bottom burr. Oh, okay. And so the nice part about turning that bottom burr is when I take this off, I don't change my grind setting at all. So the other ones are moving the top burr up and down for your adjustment and this one is moving the bottom burr up and down? just moving your bottom And burr. keeping the top one stable. Yep. So this one I can just take out. When I go to put that back in, it's at the same place. It's at the exact same grind as I was. So you okay. don't have to be fearful of over cleaning. Meow. No such thing. <laughs> so from there, let's just get all these grinds out of there. And you can see it's a pretty open interface as far as getting most of this stuff. Yeah. So I like to try to make sure I really get around those rims so you can see how it's nice and clean there. Mm -hmm. Still got some right there. But yeah, it's it's really nice and wide open in here, so we can actually take a little brush or something like that and really get down in there. Mm -hmm. And get most of that out. What we're really trying to get, again, it's the same deal when you have that grime that's coming up here or coming up there. Yeah. It's happening in here, it's just invisible in there to most people. Okay. So you don't really worry about it. Um, but it will become a worrisome Yep. Thing. It's going to require you to replace your burrs more often. It's going to um, very quickly show inconsistent grinds. Um, okay. So if if you're if it starts just gooping up inside of here, it's just it's it's like a jelly. Yeah. And so when it's in there, then it starts sticking to all this stuff. It starts sticking to your grinds. Mm -hmm. You end up with this real just nasty kind of look inside of there. We don't like that. No, we don't like that at all. Okay. That makes Cat not happy. Mm -hmm. Um. So once you do that, I can really loosen that out, and um. And get the rest of this out of there. But I really tell you, as far as cleaning goes, this is probably one of the easiest ones on the market. To clean. Okay. Um, I don't know if you if you remember in a lot of the other ones, or if anyone's watching any other ones here, but you don't have as much room. Yeah. You know, so it's got some great access in there. Yep. A lot of times you can't get this in there. You'll see me with like a, a flathead <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> So, um, do I have to worry about my grinder chute? Where is that? Is that... So, your grinder okay. chute's actually coming down here, and, and you'll see Simonelli's is a little bit different. Okay. Um, if you can actually see through there, it's got here. three... Can 
I can spin it? it that way. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> it's got three little chambers. Okay, that kind of oh, go through there. Okay. That helps from the clumpiness standpoint as well. I see. Um, ideally, yeah, running a little bit through here. What about this over here? That's just, that's straight clump. Yep, that's straight clump. Let's see, that, that's actually heading out as well. Oh, okay. So the same deal. So what we're going to do, though, I'm going to show you a little more in depth. I was going to actually leave that one alone for a second, because okay. I'm going to show you coming in from this side over Got here. Got it. So in this grinder here, now I've already taken, there's three screws that end up here. I went ahead and took those out because they're a little hard to do. And if you can see, there's a little flap. Mm -hmm. so if you get your hand under there and just push that flap up, that'll come right out. Oh, okay, nice. Okay? Um, from there, can you see these two screws right there? Uh, if yes. If not, you can go through the middle here. Yeah. That is actually, even though it doesn't look like it, it's accessible from a screwdriver. Okay. So if you get a long screwdriver like this, you can actually get into there, spin it a couple times. And then this will come right off. Oh, because it's just it's just in there to it, it's not screwed through there. No, nope, it was it's just, just snug enough. These on. Okay. Um, this is a very 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 easy grinder to get into. There's a couple things you can do. One, I'm gonna go ahead and take this screw, both of these, all the way out. And not drop my washer and lose it. <laughs> There's a third one this week. What's that little wire there? That is actually just to break it up a little bit. Okay. So as I start sending around this is going to sit right there and it's going to hold them i see hold okay. it level it's a finger basically oh wow but you now get the i can whole... actually just take this out nice and this is uh, really big because there's not a lot of grinders that's easy to do i've never seen that no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you just blew my mind that is why i'm employed here. exactly <laughs> so now we can actually wash this and okay. this is really why when i walk into your cafe and i see an mdx <laughs> And it's filthy. You're like, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a bad mood then. Okay, so now we've got that. And now you can really get in here with a vacuum exactly. or canned air or just... Or anything. You can go to town. And the biggest thing is... Right through here. Oh, my. So this is why normally we like to... Fit, we you In most of these videos, we like to go through the back here to yeah. show you to clean it out. That's you can't because we can't get yeah. in there. This one here, I don't worry so much about that because I'm just going to stick a vacuum right inside of there. Mm -hmm. There's a big is... old chunk over there that needs to be addressed. No, See that's that? that's that's part of the grinder. <laughs> wow. So you can just, you can get this super, super clean. Yes. How often should I be doing this um, extensive of a cleaning with the, taking the doser hopper off and everything? Again, it's, it's one of those things that I, I like to do it more often than not. It's a very easy thing to do. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see we're broken apart in just a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, I mean, once a week would just be phenomenal. Realistically, if you're doing it once every couple of weeks, you're probably okay. doing better than most people. Okay. Um, if you cannot see any oil, you're doing good. Good. Okay. All right. Um, so let me pause while you get yourself situated and then you can show me how to put it back together again. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we are going to go ahead and put this back together. One thing to do pay attention to, hopefully you cleaned it obviously, mm -hmm. but really that edge. So this sits right inside of there. Mm. If you do not clean that, it's going to set back and you're going to have a little bit of a leaking situation. So okay, you so really want to make sure. Grounds on the countertop. Yep. Okay. So from there, we're just going to go ahead and put our screws back in. Uh, we've got two of them somewhere on here. I gotta stop losing screws, Kat. You got screwless. <laughs> I got a few screws loose. <laughs> this is always the hardest part for me is that kind of being upside down part and getting that screw back in. Um, it does take a little time and I'm not the best at it because I'm always at a different angle. So we've got these screws back in here now. They're a little hard to get into. You really gotta make sure you push down on the mm -hmm. back here to get in there. Okay. Um, you don't wanna tighten them all the way. Just keep in mind we still have to put... The top part. Yep. Okay. Um, so from there, we're gonna be able to keep that washer out, keep this washer out, and then we can slide this right back down into it. So you want the washer to be in front of the plastic? Yes, because okay. actually right now you can kind of see I have it just a little too tight. Okay. So we're gonna back that out just a little. Keep that washer all the way to the front right there. Possibly, there we go. Okay. All right, so we get it all the way out like that. And then we can actually get in there and pop it in. 
then we can just get it right down inside there like that. And then you always want to remember to retighten it, because if you don't, you're going to run into some trouble. Very easy to do though. Um, do not try to use a smaller screwdriver, I promise you. It okay. doesn't, I don't know why, but the angles just don't quite work. Okay. So from here, a nice little bit of pressure. The only real risk to any of this, and this is what you just got to be careful, mm -hmm. we do not want to strip those screws. Yeah. Um, if you strip those screws, it is going to be a very, very hard thing to get a hold of. So don't do that. Other than that, that's back together. We're going to put this little flap down there. That flap is really what's going to prevent your coffee from ending up up here. So okay. you want to make sure you do that one. Um, and we can put this back on. There's the three little screws that go in there. I don't have them with me, so okay. I don't have to worry about that. Um, putting this back together, just like so. Just Actually, line those. I want to put that towards the back, just because I don't like, this is just a little screw that goes uh, through there. Okay. Um, doesn't really make a difference where that goes though. It's okay. just annoying if it's up front. So line it up, three screws. And unless you haven't been doing this regularly, you should be very close to your grind setting that you had before. If it was super dirty, then you probably need to do a little bit of calibration, and but... Even still, it's going to be so minor. Even, okay. if, even if you have a little bit. I mean, again, unless I hit this, mm -hmm. it's not going to go anywhere. So you're really... All this work I just did, I'm going to go back and I might have to maybe make an adjustment from 5 to 5.1. I see. It's something just so very simple. Okay. Uh, but, you know, again, this is why you can actually do this a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. Make it pretty too, why not? <laughs> um, yeah, so you do that. You're all set. Good to go. And you're back together. Cool. Um, so doing this um, at more often than not, you know, may, uh, if you can do once a month, that's a fabulous. Once a week would be amazing. Exactly. Um, and then also you would want to check your burrs during that process too. You're talking, you say about 1,100 or 1,200 pounds. 11, 1,200 pounds, pounds is really what it's going to be. Um, okay. Again, it's, Before it's, you need to replace them. it's just a little sharpness to it. Okay. It's not sharp like it's going to cut my fingers sharp, but when mm -hmm. I run my fingers over it, there should be some resistance. Cool. Um, if it's not, if it just feels like I'm just going over the, the top of this yeah it's time to go because we're not cutting anymore now we're just kind of rubbing it into mashing it into yeah. a submission exactly cool all right thanks, thanks brandon